Now let's Google search again for what is my public IP address. And look at that. You now have a different public IP and it looks like we are in Canada. Isn't that just cool? On today's video, I want to teach you how you can benefit from using a VPN and also what exactly is a VPN if you don't know. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network and it's an encrypted connection over the internet from a device, most likely your computer, to a network, ensuring safe transmission of your data and keeping prying eyes at bay. Many companies use VPNs to allow remote work, but that's not the only thing it can be used for. Here are some of the reasons that you may want to protect yourself, your computer, and your network. The first one is data encryption will ensure your traffic is almost impossible for hackers and eavesdroppers to read your data. Anonymity. Your public IP address will be masked and it makes your online activities anonymous and harder to trace back to you. If you're in a public Wi-Fi, the VPN will secure your connection so your data is not stolen. Have you ever wanted to watch a sporting event, but it says that you are geo-blocked or the event is blocked in your area? A VPN will help you bypass that. If you're in a country with heavy censorship, a VPN is going to get you going again. Sadly, here in the States, it's almost looking like we're heading in that direction with TikTok being banned soon. ISPs may throttle your network speeds and a VPN will hide your activities, which helps against the throttling. You can access region blocked games and finally plain and simply just to keep your online freedom. None of us should be getting monitored at all times, even if we're not doing anything wrong, which I'm sure most of us are not. So let's get started with how to use a VPN on your computer. On today's example, I'm going to be using Windows 11 with NordVPN. I've been using them reliably for a few years and they haven't let me down. Another alternative that I can highly recommend is IP Vanish. I'll leave links in the description if you want to sign up for either of them. So let's Google search NordVPN Windows download. And when that loads, let's click on Windows or if you have Mac or Linux, you can choose those as well, depending on your operating system. You can even install it on your phone and I can even throw it into my TV along with my Nvidia Shield Pro. It's pretty cool. I'll probably do another video just dedicated on that. So now let's click on Windows and click download app. Run the setup file to install the program with all the defaults. When it's done, it's going to ask you if you want to install the browser extension. I don't like to install the extensions and I keep things very simple and install it without that option. Finally, restart your computer. Before we connect to our VPN, I want you to do a quick test. Google search what is my public IP address and click on the link from whatismyipaddress.com. Now take a note of it. This is the IP that is out in the web from you simply accessing your internet. We are going to compare those numbers after we run the VPN. Now let's open NordVPN, sign in with your credentials. And I personally do not allow background processes since I like to manually start the NordVPN application. On the next option, if you want, you can select auto connect, but I turn this off. So I like to put on the VPN whenever I want, and I don't want it to run at all times. I also uncheck dark web monitor, but you can leave it enabled if you want. I also disable threat protection again, just because I like to keep things very simple and I only want the VPN feature hit finish. And now you can either hit quick connect or you can select a specific country that you wish to use the VPN with. Click on VPN and on today's example, I will be zooming in and connecting to Montreal in our neighboring country of Canada. Now, after a few seconds, it's going to set up the VPN connections and voila, you're good to go. Now let's Google search again for what is my public IP address and look at that. 
you now have a different public IP and it looks like we are in Canada. Isn't that just cool? Depending on your needs with the VPN, you're now free to connect to all the VPN servers across the globe. So you can connect to Mexico, South America, Europe, Africa, everywhere. Another cool feature that I like to use often is a kill switch. This will kill either your network connection or a specific application if the VPN connection is lost. It's very easy. Click on either option to enable. And if I do the app option, anytime the VPN connection is lost, that app will automatically get shut down. Or if you choose the other option, it's going to kill your internet connection until the VPN is established again. If you're interested in seeing a video on how to set up a VPN on your streaming devices like the NVIDIA Shield or your Google TV, let me know. Some of the benefits for adding a VPN to your streaming device is accessing geo-blocked television broadcasts or getting Netflix to give you different content from different countries. I hope you found this educational video useful and if you got any value from today's content, smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for more free tech content. Until next time, Ultra Tech out.